Welcome back. In this session, we will talk about Synchro Script. We will use the Synchro Script Start SP file as a start file today. Now let's navigate through the model. When I drag my focus time, I will see the building start from piles, pile caps, slab on grid, columns, beams, and levels, level by level. So it's almost done in terms of 4D simulation part. Let's look at the game chart. Most of the tasks have the name new tasks, but actually we can rename it based on the category and the level. If I expand the size of my Gantt chart, I will see I have pre-created two task user field, category and level. So I can take advantage of the two task user field and rename the tasks. For example, for this task, rename it like install beams level one. And for this task, I can rename it as install slab level two. Of course, I can double click on a task name to rename it, but a more efficient way is to take advantage of synchro script functionality. I can go to project controls ribbon and open synchro script window. So the left side of the window is a list of all the history script and the right side window is your script. The bottom window is command list. It tells you the preview result and the result after you run the script. We can right click in the blank and add or add external script from txt file. I will first add a script from scratch and then I will show you how to add an external script. So I hit add and rename it as rename tasks. Synchro script is made of two parts, objects and commands. So for the object in this case, of course, is task. And the command is set property. For set property command, the first parameter is which property you want to change. It's property name. Please be noted here synchro is case sensitive, so it's capital N and lowercase ame. And second parameter is the value of the name. I put quote install space as the first part of the task name. And I put concatenate, so the plus sign, it represents concatenating. User field value category. Please be noted here is also case sensitive, so make sure your user field value name is identical to the user field value name in your Gantt chart. followed by user field value level. Once it is done, we can hit the preview button to check the preview results. So the argument column will give you the preview result. And if you don't like it, you can change your script from here and preview again. And the, I think now it's good, so I will just hit run. And the status is modified for all of the tasks, so it works. And we can close this window and check the task name. So the second example is that I will use Synchro Script to create a task user field called total volume and calculate the total volume user field value based on all the resource user field assigned to each task. Let's see. I randomly click on the pile and I go to resource properties, user fields. If I scroll down, I see a user field called volume and the type is number. So I can use the volume user field value and calculate the total volume of each task. I go back to synchro script window again and right click in the blank. Here I will add external script and read the pre created script from the txt file. I select script 2 and hit open. So let's read it together. The object is task and the command is set user field. The first parameter is total volume, is the name of the user field. And the second parameter is float, is the type of the user field. 
third parameter is the user field value. So here we put a sum outside of the resource user field volume. So it's summing up all the resource user field value volume for the total volume user field. I hit preview to check the preview result and hit run to run the script. So the status is created for all the scripts, so it works. And we close this window. To check the results, we can customize columns and show the total volume. And it works. The third example is we can use synchro script to change appearance profiles for a resource that is already assigned to a task. For example, I click on a random tasks and I go to task properties panel, go to resources and select the resource assigned to this task. I can check the appearance profile is installed for this resource. And if I check other tasks, I can find the same thing. So the project was created with only install profiles for all the resource assignment to the tasks. And I can change it, for example, for other concrete resource, I can change the profile from install to concrete. To identify the resource is made of concrete, I can check the user field. I select a random pile, go to resource properties, user fields, and I see if I can find something related to the material. Okay, so from the pa family parameter family name, I see it is made of steel. And if I continue to click on the pile cap, so I can take advantage of the structural material user field and identify it's made of cast in place concrete. If I click on the column, it's structural material user field and the beam. Still structural material concrete. So for the slab over here, it doesn't have a structural material user field, but we can use the type parameter structural material or the type user field to identify it's made of concrete. Okay, so I will first create a concrete profile by going to assign resources, resource profiles, appearance profiles, directly in the blank, add concrete. And make it orange. You can also give it growth simulation, for example, from bottom to top. Then I will go to Project Controls ribbon and Synchro Script. I can right click in the blank, add external script, and select the script3.txt file. The object here is a little bit different. It's a task assignment object. The resource appearance profile is not a task property, it's not a resource property, it's a task assignment property. And the string inside of the parentheses is the condition. So the condition is resource user field value structural materials contains the string concrete, or user field value type contains the string concrete, or user field value material contains the string concrete. We use the command set property, and the first is the property name, appearance profile. And the second parameter is the value of the appearance profile, so it's concrete appearance profile. Let's hit preview to see the preview result and hit run. Status is modified, it works. Let's close it. Press escape to unselect this object and now we can drag the focus time to visually check if it works. The appearance profile is changed to concrete based on our script. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.